So when you think of incredible stadium backdrops, you think of Monaco, you think of the Camp Nou, you think of the Estadio Azteca in Mexico. What you don't think is the Abergwynfi Valley here in the Avon Valley behind me. This incredible, lovely valley's backdrop with a fantastic pitcher as is holding up incredibly well in this disgusting Welsh weather. But um, I'm here to meet some incredible people who help run this amazing club. Now let's go find out who they are and what they do. So I'm here with Mark Quinn. Now Mark, you've, you've set up Avon Valley FC up here in Blaine Gwynby. How have you managed to go about setting up this, this fantastic club? Yeah, I've been working for McDonald's for about five years as a manager. Um, and then I came in with cancer. So I started done a lot of reflecting and I had a lot of time off. And one of the things I noticed was that where I grew up, up here on Valley up here, um, there wasn't a football team. So um, when I got better, I, I, I wanted to sort of help out these children up here and ensure that they had a football team you know, to play with because um, I didn't think it was fair that they didn't have that platform or chance. Um, they sort of closed in the local schools and shut in a lot of the services. Um, so that sort of gave me the boost as well to make sure I was committed. I play for the seniors, obviously, mostly all my life. I've been brought up in the Avon Valley myself. Played for the kids from under sevens up. So I've been part of this mostly all my life. And it's nice to get a kids team back in the Avon Valley, really, because we haven't had a team up here for years now. So it's all about knitting together and, you know, with a massive community. And, you know, everyone does club together. And when it comes to times like this, you know, everyone's involved. This must play a huge role in, in the community here in, in the Avon Valley. Oh, it does. We've had lots of things go in from the Avon Valley and we've been left to our own devices as it is. So to have something like this up here where we can all pull together, help each other and join up, oh, it's, it's brilliant for the children as well as the adults. It's nice to mix with other adults. You can get separated and a bit isolated. So to meet up with other people and have a chat and have a laugh, oh, it's brilliant. You started this club in February. Now that's, that's not that long ago, but I mean, since then you've had just an amazing amount of experience as well, doing different things like, for example, Community Shield. I mean, this, this year it's, it's been quite a whirlwind for you. We won a prize and we got a trip to Wembley, so we took all the kids and the parents up and we got to walk around pitch with our, with our um, signs and it was just an amazing experience. It helped, it helped the community no end to sort of show that we are for real. It was, it was just magic. Things like that don't happen to people at, at the other day. So um, it was a magic day and it was a day I'll never forget. So I can imagine what they, my kids must have felt. It was quite emotional really. Sort of that day it was like year to year we did it. And it sort of set us up for the future kind of thing. That was just incredible. I was when Mark said we were going up there. We weren't expecting it to be like that. We'd done a couple of trial runs with no fans there, and when it comes to the real thing, walking out onto the field to like 78,000 people all cheering is just, just something we'll never forget, like, you know, experience for a lifetime for the kids uh, and myself really as well, so really enjoyed. We started the league um, in September, and yeah, we've been, we've come along so much, we've been so much happened already to us, and we've had our first win, and they all started saying, you know, um, I wrote a song for the club and um, a local uh, singer sang it for us put it on CD. So when we won our first match, all the kids started singing and it was just amazing, give me goosebumps. We are the Avon Valley, we've forgotten all about. We're getting this valley going. Through my childhood, I, I, I love football, I've never took me this away from the ball. And I, I love to do charity, a lot of charity work. I sort of struggle to sleep in the nights, worrying about who we're not helping. Um, so this is one way of me trying to get some sleep. Mm -hmm. 